The news you count on. NBC2 News at 6. But bear, oh no. This is my Tyson bear, oh my. People in downtown Fort Myers came face to face with this 350 pound black bear setting off an hours long search. The bear was first spotted on Lemon Street before the sun came up, but then headed west to Broadway. Thank you for counting on NBC2. I'm Kelly Burns. And I'm Peter Bush. Definitely a rare sight in such a populated area. NBC2 Sarah Metz is live at Broadway and Victoria Avenue. Sarah, it was quite the scene there today. It really was actually. This bear jumped this fence behind me and was hiding in between two trailers. And FWC tried getting them, him to come out with some food and a cage and a trap, but that just didn't work. The bear was not budging and leaving this yard. So eventually they did have to tranquilize the bear. I see raccoons and you know, possums, but bear, oh no. This is my Tyson bear, oh my. Putting on a show in the middle of Broadway. This morning I didn't realize there was a bear right by our building. So. It was amazing. But this superstar traveled far from home just to be here. When they're searching for food, they will, they will wander far. The bear's trek we were able to track started on Lemon Street. A neighbor spotted him, called police, when he then fled from the flashing lights on Fort Paul's. That bear is um, up and ready. He got a lot of energy. I think they're scared. I would be scared myself. The scared bear probably thought he hit the jackpot when he hopped the fence and landed at Appliances to Go USA. We've been in this yard for about 10 years. Never had an occurrence like this. Unfortunately for the bear, he found hundreds of refrigerators, but no food. And fortunately for Mickey Rosado, he took the day off just to be safe. No, call them all off. So I apologize to any customers that are looking at this from appliances to go. They won't be getting their deliveries today. FWC says they definitely wouldn't call him a teddy bear. You ever seen the movie Brother Bear? <laughs> that big bear. <laughs> they say he's a 350 pound Florida black bear likely lonely and looking for his next big break. But officers ultimately could tell he was getting a little stage fright from the big crowd. So they took their time trying to lure him in with food before they ditched the honey. So we decided it probably best to take action. Um, so we had our uh, bear biologist take a chemical immo immobilization gun and uh, immobilize it from there. Very cool. Now, the bear was escorted out of the city and actually out of Lee County, but FWC wouldn't say specifically where they were going to relocate him. They just said he will be placed on state lands. We're local today in downtown Fort Myers. Sarah Metz, NBC2. Well, as mentioned, it's pretty rare, but we have seen bears in the downtown area before. In 2016, one was spotted running around near McGregor Boulevard. It ended up being caught at the Fort Myers Yacht Basin. And then in 2020, you can see a bear roaming around Stella and Catherine Streets before moving over to Central Avenue and Canal. Both bears were trapped and relocated. One of the teams